the program tonight will consist of two parts. The first will be statements from our guest speakers. This will be followed by presentations from our panelists, followed by questions and answer periods. annual adaptation cost for the Caribbean will be a significant percentage of individual annual GNP and the rate of climate change and its attendant costs are expected to accelerate if the concentration of greenhouse, ga greenhouse gases continues to increase. Although the Caribbean is not a significant source of greenhouse gas emissions, we acknowledge that we do have a part to play in reducing our carbon footprint, particularly by taking steps which result in improved local environmental conditions and support a more low-carbon and climate-resilient development path. The regional architecture for responding to climate change is already in place. The five C's is already the regional scientific and technical body coordinating the regional response, the CAR CARICOM Secretariat needs to play a more assertive role coordinating, coordinating the regional diplomatic and political efforts. And CDB must be further empowered by the countries themselves to play the role it was set up to do, to play the role of, a, of the regional financial intermediary for climate change financing channeled to our region. To many of you in this room from the Caribbean, whether you're a scientist, a farmer, a fisherman, a business person, a student, a policymaker, or simply an ordinary, ordinary citizen. The findings of the fifth assessment report of the IPCC come as no surprise. The evidence of increasingly severe impacts of climate change and rising sea levels are evident I quote, warming of the climate system is unequivocal and since the 1950s many of the observed changes are unprecedented over the decades. The atmosphere and ocean have warmed, the amounts of snow and ice have diminished, sea level has risen and the concentration of greenhouse gases have increased. Ladies and gentlemen, it is our responsibility as a member of the CARICOM community to continue to advance the importance of pursuing a climate resilient development agenda for all CARICOM states. We therefore pledge our support for the agenda of the Caribbean Community Climate Change Centre. Ladies and gentlemen, there's much work ahead there's much work to be done. And if this work is to be done, then it means all hands must be aboard. Do the fans have ready cash in them that is available? If I have a small hotel somewhere near the sea, can we access these funds or just promises in the front? And what can we do at the national level to change people's perspectives about climate change, not only at the national but at the regional? No one country alone can solve the climate change problem. The reason is simple, it's a transboundary issue. The emissions in Barbados don't affect Barbados only, it affects the United States, it affects Russia, it affects everybody else. So you can put up um, a wall and say, okay, if I put up this wall, no emissions are going to affect me, therefore I wouldn't have any climate change. It's a global problem and it requires a global solution. And a global solution therefore requires that all countries work together cooperatively. It is projected that the Northern Caribbean, that is north of about 22 degrees north, will experience increased rainfall towards the latter part of the wet season, whereas the Southern Caribbean, this is like Barbados, will experience a contraction into the traditional wet season and likely experience longer dry seasons. You also have islands that are still emerging crestily from the ocean, like Barbados, for example, slowly. And you also have some that are subsiding, so there's a variety of things happening that adds to the heterogeneity of island systems. 
But when you superimpose on all this, differing social, economic, political, and cultural systems and different value systems and beliefs, it means that you have to think very carefully about borrowing approaches without seriously evaluating the potential and location-specific effectiveness. Humanitarian agencies have a small part to play in reducing greenhouse gas emissions. For our part, in the Caribbean, the, Red the International Federation of Red Cross's partner, the Association of American States, the government of Trinidad and Tobago, and the Trinidad and Tobago Red Cross Society to initiate a feasibility study on how we can make our emergency operations a little better and reducing our carbon footprint. In fact, earlier this year, uh, we published our evaluation of our largest humanitarian response operation in the Caribbean to the Haiti earthquake, um, where we examined and evaluated um, how we can make our, our operations a bit more greener. Enhanced actions, concrete investments in community resilience, and continued engagement with governments and partners are all the consequences. The Red Cross movement will continue to work with communities to strengthen their ability to address the challenges of climate change, with a particular focus on disaster preparedness, disaster risk reduction, food security, and livelihoods. For us, climate change is real and is here. The scientific data is extremely important, but what is now key is how we take that information and rethink the way we work. We have high ambitions in the region to lead by example, but implementing this, ambi this ambition often exceeds our own capacities. I see two elements that are missing here. First, we miss adequate and predictable financial support and investment, as well as technological transfer and capacity building to ensure the achievement of our commitments and to cope with, the, with and adapt to climate change. We also miss um, increased technical ability to formulate and develop projects and programs that, that met the criteria for submission the international um, support channel. We hope that as we move along, our institutions, our policymakers, will take into account the actions that we must take if we are to succeed in having a better climate, not just for our region, but for the world. To learn more about climate change, visit CaribbeanClimate.bz and explore the Clearinghouse, the most extensive repository of Caribbean-specific information on climate change.